Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers here to take a walk around the Lamar DL14. This is a 7x14, 14,000 pound heavy duty low pro dump trailer. Let's take a walk around this particular unit. We'll show you all the standard features as well as the options on this particular unit. So we start out, it's got a nice heavy duty looking appearance. If you look up front, it's got the I-beam frame. So historically in the industry, a lot use a channel or tube tongue and frame. This one here's got the eight inch I-beam. Now Lamar used to use a 10 foot pound and then they jumped up to a 13 foot pound mainframe. So it's an eight inch, 13 foot pound. Uh, they've kind of got a trademark heavy duty coupler. They do this on a few different models, including their dump. Just has a nice stout appearance up front. It's got the integrated chain holders. I notice it's got a six hole adjustable coupler. Uh, this is a cast coupler. It's actually made by Demco. It's an easy latch. Uh, like how it's set up, you basically open it up and it actually closes itself as you lower it down. There's a shot of the I-beam running back. Uh, one of the reasons for the video today, actually, this is an update video on a previous one. Uh, they've gone to a new uh, toolbox. It's an oversized box. It's got a gas shock. It's compartmentalized. So you've now got your battery, which notice they put the battery in a separate poly box. And you've got your KTI hydraulic pump, power up, power down. It's also got an integrated 110 volt charger. Simply plug it into 110 house current, keep your battery charged. I believe the charger on these currently is a 5 amp charger. It's a 140 amp hour battery. Do the math, 5 into 140 would be about 30 hours of charging. So if you got a fully discharged battery, you'd have to leave it in for a full day to top the battery off. Uh, every size dump trailer is going to be a little bit different. One this size, depending on time of year and what you're hauling for material is going to make a difference. But ballpark probably figure six to ten dumps maybe. Uh, so if you're planning on doing a sizable amount in one day, consider charging the battery fully before, uh, before using it that day. These are made in the USA. It's got the NATM stamp, so basically it just meets all the uh, the regulations of the governing body for lights and safety function, etc. So there is a slot you can put the uh, corded remote uh, out. Notice there's a pretty good size uh, area up front for straps or additional fluid, whatnot. Uh, toolbox is lockable. Up front, it's also got a 12K jack, so you'll notice that there are two grease zerts for serviceability. If you've never had a 12K jack, it's spring-loaded. Simply pull your pin at the bottom. There's an inner leg that will adjust, and then your handle will adjust the outer sleeve. No need to ever have blocks of wood or similar. Got plenty of adjustment. The Lux tarp kit on these is standard with a sail bar. It is an aluminum setup, so no need for, for paint does have your guides to get down the sides so this will basically stay in line with your stake pockets nice setup does have a spring-loaded handle tarps generally about four foot longer than the body so if you uh, heave it up a little bit in the middle it'll still make it all the way to the back you also notice a few other things uh, right here would be a new for 2021 they do an integrated side step with your punch plate makes uh, for better traction uh, it's also got gusset on the I-beam, top, bottom, center, boxed out with your integrated LED light. You also notice that the bed actually is nestled inside, which is nice. Keeps their dump trailer a little lower than most in the industry without using drop axles. Uh, we do prefer the straight axles as seen on this, but we also prefer a lower load height if possible. Uh, the, the nestled frame does the best of both worlds. Instead of a 32-inch deck height, using a uh, drop uh, not a drop frame, but a uh, using a uh, nestled frame here will get you down about four inches. You can see there how it's nestled, so you're down to about a 28 inch deck height. So, again, nestled frame on this two foot sides, pretty standard in the industry. On this, we have upgraded to the charcoal powder coat instead of black. And with the charcoal, we do the black wheels. Gives it a nice look. Uh, we have upgraded the tires on this to a 14-ply load range G. Industry standard on a 14K is generally going to be a 10-ply load range E. So heavier tire upgrade. We just find that most dumps going in and out of some tough places get abused a little bit. Um, just gives you a little bit better rubber. 
This trailer is equipped with the FSA forward self-adjusting brakes. These are starting to become the industry standard. Uh, rather than servicing your brakes, these are pretty well like a, a car brake assembly now. Um, very little service needed throughout the life of the pad. Uh, if you look at the end of the hub, you'll see the, uh, the black plug. Uh, behind that would be a grease dirt for your Easy Lube hubs. Uh, homeowner with basic hand tools uh, can service your bearings fairly simply. On the end of the uh, uh, slipper spring there, you'll notice a wet bolt kit. So it does have zert on there for added serviceability as well. Uh, not all manufacturers do that. Just make sure you get that zert. Front and rear gussets help protect the fender. You'll notice it is a double broke fender as well, a little bit heavier duty. Uh, Lamar on the top rail here calls this a rigid rail. Very heavy duty rail. So most uh, will come up out and lip it down about a half an inch. This is actually a lot wider top rail. It's also very heavy. They put this here, uh, they had a lot of fleet commercial accounts or rentals that would come down with a bobcat bucket or similar and damage the top rail. It's a very heavy duty top rail. One of the other things they also found with the, uh, the heavier duty users, uh, floor industry standard pretty much for 15, 20 years now has been 10 gauge. Uh, on this, you'll notice that is one full sheet of seven gauge uh, on the floor. So 7 gauge is 3 16th of an inch, uh, 10 gauge industry normal would be 8th inch, uh, so you're 50% thicker. It's about 2.5 pounds per square foot more, comes out to about 250 more pounds of steel on the floor of this trailer. Uh, if you're a contractor, if you're a, a concrete contractor, etc., uh, probably an ideal unit for you. Now you notice the D-rings are kept up off the floor, which is nice, the front ones are down low. That's designed so that stuff doesn't get hung up at the rear of the trailer. About 83 inches wall to wall in the trailer. Everybody calls them seven foot dumps, but you're generally gonna get about an inch or two less than that. Two way gate at the rear. You can open this up uh, like a barn door like most. Simply use your hook style to swing it open or you can uh, use the spreader feature on these. Simply set your, set your depth there and go. Grease zerts on your rear door. Sail bar retainer, so you'd pull your sail bar back, hook it in at the rear here. There's your seven gauge floor. They do a nice heavy duty hinge setup at the rear of the trailer there. You've got your release for your spreader gate. One thing new for 2021 as well, more and more customers are, are using rear stabilizers. Still not a very high percentage of customers, but they prep it for it. So if you want stabilizers, uh, oftentimes we will keep those in stock, just slip them up in. Undermount ramps are standard. You'll notice there's uh, the newer style bullet LED lights, give it a nice clean look. Undermount ramps. And then uh, stop turn tails and your markers are required. This outer marker is just an extra visibility light that they throw on for you. Spare tire mount is not standard, but we do uh, do add a spare tire mount to most of our Lamar's. Uh, stake pockets as well, if you want to build sides up with uh, wood or similar. Let's take a peek at the underside. So again, seven gauge on the floor gives you a nice sturdy floor. We like the uh, we like the nestled bed frame. Nestle bed frame we see once in a while, but it's not very common in the industry. Uh, some are starting to do it more now, uh, but that was something uh, Lamar was one of, probably five years ago, one of the only ones really that did that setup. Notice the undermount ramps. Uh, we do upgrade the floors to a 12 inch on center, so if the cross members look pretty close, that's because they are. Uh, those are also a structural channel cross member. Some in the industry are using a form steel cross member. Again, this is structural channel. Hoist on these standard equipment is the scissor hoist. Uh, most in the industry will use a dual piston for a standard and then uh, they'll upgrade to a scissor. Lamar puts a scissor on all these units standard. If you do go longer or heavier, it'll also get uh, larger in size for the scissor. This is a 516. Uh, if you go to a 16 footer, it'll be a 520. And then if you go to 8K axles, it'll go to a 621 and a half. 
If you check some of our other videos, you'll notice we do have uh, a 516 scissor, us demoing what it'll do. Uh, this particular unit, assuming you're not massively overloaded on the tongue, it'll do roughly a ton, ton and a half more than what it's legally able to do. Shouldn't have any problems uh, doing what it's supposed to do, even for a high duty cycle user. Uh, we did find in that test and in that video that uh, if you are extremely tongue heavy, it will reduce your payload upward of a ton. Uh, which still allows you to lift the, the legal payload of the trailer. Um, even being a little bit overloaded tongue heavy wise. So again, 12 inch on center on the floor cross members, nestled bed frame. Notice there's a prop in the fender, gives a little support there. Also notice going down the side, I didn't point these out earlier. It's got J hooks, so for the tarp, you can uh, bungee off the grommets. Get a shot of the rear hinge for you. So they do a pretty nice heavy duty hinge setup on these. You'll notice there's a heavy duty crossbar going across as well. Another heavy duty crossbar going across. And then all the, uh, the wiring, or the hydraulic hose, I should say, all back grommet it out where they go and you've got a nice heavy duty header at the back side of the toolbox plated out top bottom and in the center <laughs> trailer's going to weigh in a little over 4,000 pounds going to give you a net legal payload of about 10 you're also going to pick up roughly 15 percent or 2,000 pounds of tongue weight to the truck side we stock this in a 12 14 and 16 foot we also do what we call a standard and a deluxe model. Currently our deluxe model has oil bath hub upgrade, rear jack stands, hydraulic jacks, and I might be missing something, but those are the three, three main ones that we add on our deluxe. We also do stock these in gooseneck variety, and we also upgrade some of these to 8,000 pound axles for the high duty cycle users or guys that just need a little bit more payload. If you have any questions on these, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220. You can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.